The following is from the diary of Mary Chestnut, a Southern a South Carolina woman who witnessed the attack on Fort Sumner, April 12th, Charleston, South Carolina. Anderson will not capitulate. Yesterday was the merriest, maddest dinner we've had yet. Men were audaciously wise and witty. We had an unspoken foreboding that it was to be our last pleasant evening. I do not pretend to go to sleep. How can I? If Anderson does not accept terms at four, the orders are he shall be fired upon. I count four. St. Michael's bells chime out and I begin to hope. At half past four, the heavy booming of a cannon. I spring out of bed and on my knees, prostate, I pray as I've never prayed before. There was a sound of a stir all over the house, pattering of feet in the corridors. All seemed hurrying in one way. I put on my double gown and shawl and went too. It was the housetop. The shells were bursting. In the dark I heard a man say, waste of ammunition. The women were wild there on the housetop. Prayers came from the women and imprecations from the men. And then a shell would light up the scene. Tonight they say the forces are an attempt to land. We watched up there and everybody wondered that Fort Sumner did not fire a shot. I do not wonder at Louisa Hamilton's baby. We hear nothing, can listen to nothing. Boom, boom goes the cannon all the time. The nervous strain is awful, alone in this darkened room. Richmond and Washington ablaze, the papers say, blazing with excitement. Why not? To us, these last day's events seem frightfully great. We were all women on that iron balcony. Men are only, at, only seen at a distance now. Stark Means, marching under the piazza at the head of his regiment, held his cap in his hand the whole time he was in sight. Mrs. Mean was leaning over, looking with tearful eyes, when an unknown creature asked, why did he take his hat off? Mrs. Mean stood straight up and said, he did that in honor of his mother. He saw me. She is a proud mother, and at the same time most unhappy. Her lovely daughter, Emma, is dying in there before her eyes of consumption. At that moment, I am sure Mrs. Means had a spasm of the heart. At least, she looked as I feel sometimes. She took my arm and we came in.